guys welcome back to my channel it is Betty owner and creator of Betty's custom designs here on YouTube Etsy Facebook TikTok, and Instagram so I am just working um, again this is more of a design with me or just watch me design or I'm not sure what to call it um, I am just working on some uh, digitals for my botanical treasures collection that's in my Etsy store and so I figured I would just bring you guys along um, let me close out of this so that you will know where I'm at and what I'm doing there has been apparently an update to um, Photoshop and how to save your image as a JPEG and so that's one of the main reasons I wanted to jump on here and show you um, the video I done just a day or so ago there was one way of saving it for a JPEG or PNG and as of um, I believe it was last night when I done the same thing there's a totally different way to do it now so I have a few um, templates for like my tickets um, tags that kind of stuff so we're gonna go right here to this little admit one ticket um, and I am just going to put the different papers on top of that ticket. So I've got it open. I am going to go and open um, one of my botanical treasures um, kits or pages. I'm sorry, I can't even talk. And just like with any the rest of them, I have my selection tool. I have it selected over here. So hopefully you guys can see that. I have it on the select tool or move tool. Um, I am in where the paper is and so I'm going to click on um, the paper. I'm going to keep that mouse button held down and it's the left click mouse button. I'm going to keep it held down and I'm going to go up here to the top where I have the um, ticket and I'm still holding the um, mouse down. Then once I get it on top of the ticket, then I'm going to release the um, the mouse. Now that looks crazy right now. So what we want to do, we want to hit Control Zero, and that brings everything into the screen so that I can see it. And this is a very small ticket, and I can probably enlarge the ticket and then work on it. But it's just as easy for me to do it this way. Um, I'm just getting the paper down to about the size that I want it. And I think that's going to be good. I'm going to hit enter because when you hit enter, that's what sets it in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and enlarge it so that we can see it um, or so that you guys can see it a little better. Now, once I have this image set, I can go up here and I can kind of move the image um, the way I want it, and I think I like it there. I'm gonna hit Enter again. I'm gonna go up here to Layer. I'm gonna go down to Create Clipping Mask. And there's my mask, but you can't see anything. And so that's where I come over here to this menu and where it shows Normal, I'm going to go to Multiply. Now, one thing I'm noticing is this ticket is too dark for this, so I'm going to edit, I'm gonna undo all of these changes real quick. Because I do have an issue with it being too dark, so let me enlarge it so that we can see it to work in it. What I'm going to do is I am going to lighten this image, and I have clicked on the paint bucket over here and I actually want to get this a little larger if I can. That ticket's just so small, but that's okay. Okay, so I've got the um, color selected over here. It's about um, a white, it's almost a white. Let me do, I need to put a border around um, the image. Let me try to remember how I've done this. It's very easy, but I haven't done it in so long. So that's all I can, that's all I'm doing. I am just going and it's like a 
blend layer. It's very easy, and, but I just, I haven't done it. Do, 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 do. Yep, so say, I mean, if you don't do it enough, it, um, you kind of forget it, um, and that's normal, but it's one of those things that if you forget it, just get in here and play with it some, and you'll remember it, um, like as soon as I find it again, I'll be like, oh, you dodo, you know, um, and that's just kind of how it is, it's not the end of the world, um, you just work on it that way and I literally I had it today this morning I was just doing it I think it may be down here it is blending options and I already have some presets so I just I don't know if you can see what I did um, I just added um, a small outline around that I think I want to enlarge that a little bit let me see if one of these is a little I'm just trying to see which one is a little bit um, thicker because I have some presets that I've saved in here um, and you can do that um, you can choose the one to make your default, um, but this is in the blending options down here in the bottom. This is one of the things that you do not have available to use on, on the iPad, unfortunately, which again, I think is stupid because, okay, I like that one. It's a little bit thicker, so we're going to go with that one. I'm still on the bucket fill, and so I'm just going to fill that in. Um, I'm going to fill the inside. And then you'll need to go and fill all of these little areas. All of the little areas that you see that need to have that color. I am going to try and attempt to color this line here with a black. It does not look like it has very good um, contrast area there so I'm not exactly sure how easy it will be to do so to do that let's zoom in quite a bit and let's see if we can do it All right, now let's see what let's do the stars now let's zoom back out and see okay so it did do pretty good and then we'll make sure the edge is done. I see some um, color on the edge there. I want to undo that because I don't like the way that looks. So let's enlarge this again. And remember, it doesn't. If you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. You just go back through and you just you hit the undo button and then you do it again. So I am um, having to do some of this very detailed like um, because if you see right here it's not really defined. So you know you gotta just roll with the punches and I'm just going through and anything that I see that has like that tan color that I want to be black um, I'm making it black. If it's somewhere that I would prefer it to be white, I will go in with the white. Um, and again, these corners seem to really be lacking the clarity that I need. And that's small enough that you're really not going to notice this on the final image. Um, you probably don't even have to go in and do this much. I just, my OCD and ADHD just kind of kick in and I, I can't help it. I have to do it. Okay, just a little more and I will show you, I want to really bring out the, um, the numbers there. And now once I do this, this one time, I won't have to do it again because I will save the image 
And then once I save the image, then it'll always be like that. So let me, um, let me see. I'm getting my little um, eyedropper tool. I want to go right here. And actually, I don't think that's, yeah, okay. So what I've done is I have picked the color that is that um, the numbers are. Now I'm gonna, going to go back to the numbers here and I'm going to fill the numbers in a little better. And so that's all I'm doing is I just want to make them a little bit brighter because I want them to really be able to show And I'm going to do the same thing over here. And I'm sorry if I'm not talking that much. I'm just concentrating. And when I concentrate, yeah, that's what I do. Which is rare for me to not talk. So enjoy it while you can. Because it's not going to last. Now I'm going to go File, Save. Okay. So now let's reduce this back down to a working size where we can see the entire thing. Now I'm gonna go up here, I'm going to do my selection tool. I'm gonna to go back over here to this paper. I'm going to drag it on top of that ticket. Control zero to get it into, all of it into frame. Enter to set it. I'm going to go back to a size we can work in. And now I'm just kind of um, looking to see how I can get it, you know, the parts that I want on the ticket. I think that's good. I hit enter to set it again. Actually, I need to bring it down just a touch. Hit enter. Now I'm going to do layer, create clipping mask. I'm gonna go over here to multiply. And as you can see, that's not nearly as dark or yellow as it was before. So now the one thing I said um, that has changed is how to save this as a JPEG. Up until yesterday, um, all of my videos will tell you it was file, save as, and that's what you've done. But now when you go to save as, the option is not there to save it as a PNG or a JPEG. So now what you have to do is do file, save a copy, and then that's where you get that menu that you used to, um, we used to have. So I'm, I'm not sure why they changed that. I'm not sure what brought that about, um, but just make, make note of that. So now I'm just gonna go over here and I'm going to save it as ticket. And you see I already have several tickets in here. So I'm just doing ticket six and hitting enter. And that saved it as a JPEG. Now I can just go to undo. And I'm back to that ticket there. So let's open up another image. And see which one we wanna put on there. Let's do this blue one. So same thing, I'm dragging it over to the ticket, I'm dropping it, I'm hitting control zero, getting it all down, I'll just quickly reduce it, bring it over on top, then I'll go ahead and bring it up to site, well, that's a little too, um, I'm still gonna have to get it all in screen, so I didn't get it small enough. So when I wanna get it all in screen, that's when I hit the control zero. And so now let's see what we can do about bringing it up. Okay, so now we're better because it's at a size that we can work in. And I think that's going to be about where I need it to be. I'm going to hit Enter, Layer, Create Clipping Mask, and then Multiply. And there's our ticket. File, Save a Copy, and then it's going to be Ticket. I want it as a JPEG, not a PNG. So it will be ticket. Oh, I'm in downloads. I want to be in documents. 
It always helps if you get it in the right spot. And it's going to be ticket six. No, we don't want to replace it. It's going to be ticket seven. Okay, and I'm just going to undo everything. It's to me that's just the easiest um, thing to do. Okay, now let's open another paper and see if there's another one that we want to um, layer on top there. Okay, let's do this one. Again, I'm just dragging it on top of the ticket, hitting it down. Control zero, which will get everything in frame. Hit enter. I'm going to enlarge it. And then I'm going to bring that paper down to the size I need it to be. Hit enter. Layer. Create clipping mask. Multiply. And there you go. File. Save a copy. Documents. Botanical treasures. I want to save it as a JPEG. And it's going to be ticket. And it's going to be ticket 8. Okay, so now let's close that ticket out and let's open up another one that we have. And I think those are in my downloads. Um, now these tickets I got from um, another one of my paid um, resources, but again, you do not have to pay to get a lot of the stuff that I do. And um, there are um, options for you to be able to um, get stuff for free. Just make sure that there are no royalty fees or copyright fees, anything like that, um, because you don't want to start paying uh, for copyrights. So now let's go back over here and choose black. Let's get the brush, I mean the paintbrush. Let's choose black and let's fill in this area here. that blue is not going to match what I need it to do. I need to have this more generic. And so like on this, there is a lot of, you know, the little dots there. So I do need to do each one individually. Okay, now I'm going to go back up here to like the white color, and then I'm going to do this in white, and now I'm going to hit File, Save. I'm going to get my selection tool, I'm going to go back to one of the images, bring it on top, hit it down, <clears throat> excuse me, Control Zero to get it into screen, then I'm going to enlarge it. I just want to have the ticket covered all the way and I do and so now I can just kind of line everything up I'm hitting enter layer create clipping mask um, I don't want that I mean that one's okay but I want that one all right so now we have that ticket so now it's file save a copy I want it as the JPEG in the botanical treasures and this is a ticket as well so we will save it as ticket nine and then we're going to go and undo all of these changes and now let's get another one i still have my selection tool drag it drop it control zero I'm going to reduce that size, bring it down, hit enter. I'm going to get my view where I can see. Okay, so it looks like I can make this a little smaller still. A 
I want to bring it down. Let's make it a little bit smaller. I think we can. Okay, I think that's going to have to be about right. Hit enter, layer, create clipping mask, and then multiply. Then we're going to do file, save a copy. We want it as a JPEG. And then it's going to be ticket 10. Okay, so we've done the tickets. We've done a few tickets. Let's see what else we have that we might can layer on for like the ephemera. Find my water. I need a sip of water. Okay, let's go back up here to my downloads and let's just see what I do have. Okay, I'm just looking. You know what? I do have. Hmm. This is like a number label. Let's try that. Let's drag it onto it. Drop it. Control zero. And oh wow, look how little that is. Hmm. I might be getting a little overzealous here. It would appear that I am, but we're going to still try it anyway. You know, we don't know until we actually try it. And I'm game to try it. Enter. Let's reduce the opacity of that just a little bit because I'm afraid it may be too dark for that. Create clipping mask. Multiply. It worked, but it's still a little too dark. So I'm not going to save that. I was just curious. But yeah, so you can do it. It doesn't matter the size. You can still do it. So we done um, the admit one. Let's do child ticket. I am not happy with it being that direction. So let's get it at that direction. It does not look very clear to me, but you know. All right, so the same thing that I did with the other one, I want to um, work on the colors. They're just a little too um, too dark. So I'm doing the exact same thing that I did on the other one. I'm just turning that um, orange color white. And we may not need to do anything with the black. Um, I think I'm gonna leave that. So let's do file, save, and let's see how that comes out. Let's take this, go back to our selection tool, drag this one on top of it. Control zero. We gotta get that small. We're gonna hit OK and then let's enlarge this so we can see what we're doing. And we just mainly want to make sure that the ticket is covered. Okay, I think it is. We'll find out, won't we? Layer, create clipping mask. Let's see. And there you go. Okay, so file, save a copy. I want it as a JPEG. I want it in the same folder, and it's going to be ticket, what was it, 11? Okay, 
So now let's edit, undo, edit, undo, edit, undo, edit, undo, edit, undo. Okay. So let's try this one. Do the same thing. Drop it. Control zero. Take this little bad boy down. Hit that. Let's get it where we can see it. I just want to get it where it's covering the ticket and it looks like it is. I'm going to hit enter, layer, create clipping mask, and then I want it to be on multiply. Okay, I like that actually. Save a copy. I want it as a JPEG. I want to save it in this folder. And then hit OK. So again, I'm going to do edit, undo, edit, undo, edit, undo, edit, undo, edit, undo. Okay. Let's go ahead and do one of these on that same ticket. Get that down to size. Put it over that. Enter. Let's enlarge it. And then we want to bring it down again. And we want to make sure that we have every part of the ticket covered. Layer, create clipping mask, normal to multiply. And then file, save a copy. And so this one will be ticket 13. Okay, so let's work on a couple other um, labels or tickets. Um, let me go over here to this drop. And I'm just looking to see what I have because we can pretty much add this to anything. It does not have to be you know, meant to be able to, do, you can, it, honestly, you can do it on just about anything. So I am just looking to see what I have that I might want to put this on. Um, I have some images, I have some baby images, and these, this folder here is all from Graphics Fairy. Um, you know, you can use it, anything pretty much. So let's layer this, same thing. I'm just dragging it and dropping it, hitting control zero to get it down to a workable size. And then I'm just making sure that I completely cover, Lord help me, I can't talk, cover the clock. And so I'm going to line that flower up because I want that flower in there. I'm just making sure all of the clock is covered. Layer, create clipping mask. And normal we want it multiply and so there's our clock so file save a copy and this will and we want it as a JPEG and we will save this as clock one So let's go to this one and do the same thing. I don't think I need to reduce that. I can do it just right there on the screen. Enter, layer, create clipping mask, multiply. And I love the way that one turned out. Save a copy. And we want to save it as a JPEG. And we want to save it as clock two. So anyway, guys, that's the end. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and call it, you know, this the end of the video. I am going to continue working on this so that I can get these um, listed. 
uh, I will do another video later and we'll work on another type of project um, here in Photoshop. But I just wanted to jump on here and do this short video for you guys. And thank you so much for um, watching. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you do subscribe. Hit that little notification bell so you'll be notified anytime um, I do upload another um, video. And then, um, you know, sh like the video. Hit, hit a thumbs up on it. Um, leave a comment. You know, that all helps me with the algorithm with... Um, with YouTube. So I, and not only that, I just appreciate the comments, um, honestly. So make sure you do all of that. When we get to 500 subscribers, I am doing a giveaway for, um, one of the envelope, um, journals or ephemera storage. So we are at like 266, I believe is the last time, um, whenever I was counting. So we're, you know, we're more, we're more than halfway there now. So let's get it up to 500. And the other thing I wanted to tell you about is I, when I looked um, earlier this afternoon, my Etsy sales were at like 830. When that gets to 1000, I am not exactly sure, but there will be something special for me reaching um, 1,000 sales. So make sure that you um, go and follow my Etsy shop so that whenever I do create what, whatever it is I'm going to do that is for reaching um, 1,000 sales, um, make, if you follow my channel, then you will get notifications. So anyway thanks guys so much for watching i appreciate it and i hope you all have a wonderful weekend or day or week or whatever it may be for you so talk to you later guys bye